hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is Ajalam here thank you so much for stopping by and if this is your first time of coming across my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get to know anytime i put up a new video so guys for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a two-tier ball gown for a one-year-old baby girl so if you're interested let's move down to work crafting out the bodies okay first and foremost i'll mark out a line and this will be my starting point okay so the length the body's length is seven inches but i'll be making it eight inches one inch is for seam allowance so this is eight inches here i'll mark that out and i'll connect okay Right, so the next thing now is to insert the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is eight inches half of that is four so this is four inches here okay and i'll come down by half which is the shoulder slope i'll be using half inch for that okay so now for the neck width i'll be using one and three quarter which is here okay i'll be making use of two inches which is here and i'll use the same two inches for the neck width sorry the neck depth which is here and i'll connect Okay, so here now I will connect this point to this point here. So now here I will insert the armhole. The armhole is 3 inches. So this is 3 inches here. Okay. Then I will insert the shoulder measurement which is 4. And I will connect. To this point okay so now this is the chest line so here now I will the chest measurement is 20 inches so that 20 inches divided by 4 is is 5 so this is 5 and I'll add 1 inch for my seam allowance Okay, so here now I will check what I have here is three inches. Half of this is one and half. This is where we'll be coming in by half inch. Okay, if you like, you can also make it um one and three. Sorry, three quarter. But for this, I'll be making use of half. So now I will now connect it. Okay. Let me use this other one. So I'll connect. And that is how easy and simple it is to do this upper part. So now I will insert the chest. The chest is is um 20 inches and i've done that already now is for the waist the waist is the same 20 so whatever i have here i will bring it down to the waist which is six inches okay so now i'll connect and upper part is ready so now i'm going to cut it out That is the upper part okay so now let me show you how to cut um the back so for the back pattern the back part i will be using this front okay i'll just place it like this and i'll leave one inch on this area for my zipper okay and i'll just pin it 
so this is it as you can see i've pinned it all around now i decided to use this front because i want the back armhole to be exactly with the front own to give me exactly what i really want for the back so now what i'll do now this is my one inch for the zip so for the the back neck i'll be using quarter okay let me just make it a straight line so that you understand okay so from here i'll be using half inch okay and i'll just connect it back to this point okay so now i will just cut it out before doing the adjustment for the back here let me just cut it out first this is what i have after cutting it out this is the front while this is the back so for this back here i'll be coming up by quarter inch which is here and i'll connect it down to this point you should be familiar with this by now okay so just connect it this is because by the time you join both the front with the back the front will not be longer than the back you have exactly what you really need okay that is the reason of coming up here so i'll just cut it out making sure it connects back to this point here okay so that is it now let me show you how to cut the the down part of the dress so for the down part i'll be using one yard of organza for that okay so now i'll fold it so for the down part i'll be making use of them um, 11 inches okay but remember i'll be adding this to it so now all i have to do now i'll just mark out that same 11 inches but at the end of the day i will i will need to cut off the excesses but to be on a safe side this is my 11 inches okay and i'll cut it out straight remember this i folded it into four okay this is two here the other one is two so now i'll just cut it out so i'm repeating it again for the back So now I have both the front and the back. So I'll be working with the front one first. Okay, remember I said I'll be using this to add to the hem. So now for this, you can decide how many inches you want to make it. Okay, but mine I'll be using, I would like it to be two inches. But I'll be cutting this two and a half inch so that the half inch will be for my seam. So that two and a half, because remember it's on fold that will now be five inches so i will just cut out measure out five inches and i'll cut it out that is what i'll be using so i'll do the same for the back so here i have five inches i will now take the front and i'll sew this in on the hem area okay so i'll just take this open it up and I'll sew it straight after which I will now turn it over like this okay so let me just do that first guys this is what I have after sewing it as you can see this is how it looks okay now I did the two remember it's a two tier dress so now I will use this first one and mark out the length so for this dress I'll be using 11 inches so now I'll mark out 11 and half. The half is for my seam. OK, 
okay so this is 11 and a half here okay and i'll mark it that i'll be cutting it off okay so i'll cut it off so i'll do the same for the second layer i'll be making it uh, the distance of this to the second layer will just be two inches okay this is the first so this one i'll be i'll just remove two inches from it okay meaning this should be nine plus the half which is for the seam that will be nine and a half okay so let me mark out this is nine and a half here and i'll cut it out as well so now i'll place it on top of this so this is how i want it to be for this upper one i removed extra one inch making it three and a half so that it will give me exactly what i want so now i'll cut out and the satin the same thing i the way i did this that is how I'll, I'll be doing the satin i mean the length that is what i'll be using for the satin okay cut out the satin so now i will take it i use 12 inches so that before folding and every other thing i'll have exactly the length that i needed so i'll open it up and i'll use my gather stitch to sew this but before that let me show you how to cut the hard net because that is what will give the dress the look that i really want Okay, so before sewing this, let me just show you how to cut out the hard net. So the hard net, as you can see, is not even up to half yard. So I'll fold it over, as you can see. Now I'll bring this point, fold it over like this. If you've been following my tutorials, you should be familiar with this by now. Okay, so now I'll now cut it out. For this, I'll just be making it a flay remember as if you're cutting a, a circle dress that's how i'll do this before i'll fix the hard net so now i will now so now i'll be using six inches remember this is like um, a half um circle it's not a full circle if you're using a full circle the formula is always 6.28 divided by the the waist measurement like this now the waist measurement is 20 20 divided by 6.28 is 3.1 okay so now all i have to do is just to times it by two because this is by 180 is not full this is so now i'll be marking out six inches all round and i'll cut it out okay so after cutting it out, I'll now measure out the length of the lining. Since the um, length of the dress, which is the down part, is 11 inches, I'll be making the lining 10 inches so that before so trimming the hem area and joining it on the upper parts, I will end up having nine and a half. Okay, so I will now mark out 10 inches all round. So this is what I have, if I open it up, 
okay so now the next thing to do is i will mark out two inches from this point from this point now i'll just mark out two inches like that and i will end up to where i want the hard net to stop okay so let me just mark that out quickly This is it. I'm using just two um, two lines because I don't want the hard net to be touching the child. So now I will cut out. This is the hard net I'll be using. So I will just cut it out quickly. I've cut out as you can see this net is not that too strong because I don't want the dress to be too fluffy so now I'll take this and use my gather stitch and run it then I'll place it on these lines and just so it's very simple but if you want to see more of this you can check out my video on how to make a patch dress for a year old baby girl and you get to see step by step on how to do this so quickly I will now start sewing with the upper part, I will just join the shoulders together and I'll come back and show you. So as you can see, I've joined the shoulders together. So now I'll use one of these I'll be using as the lining. So I'll place it over, facing front side facing each other. Then I'll now close it up. I'll sew from this point round and I'll close the armhole area. Then I'll give it a good press and show you have after closing it as you can see it's very simple to do so now i will now join close it up okay the sides i'm going to close it 
please if you're hearing any noise please ignore because it's raining heavily here okay so now the chest measurement is 20 inches so 20 inches divided by 2 that would be 10 so i'll mark out 10 okay i'm marking it out on, on the front side so this is 10 here and i'll close it up so after closing it up i'll be using the down parts this is the down part here as you can see i've gathered it as well so after closing it up i'll be using the down part to join it so let me close it up first so i've joined it together for this the chest measurement is 10 and the waist measurement is 10 as well so i use the same thing to close it up so now i will now join the the down part i'll just open it up separating the lining from the main one i'll be using so this is it so i'll take this now and i'll join it okay making sure that the lining is separate so after joining it i will take the hard net this is my hard net and i've joined it already okay like i said earlier to see more of this you can check out my video on how to make a party dress for a one year old baby girl and you get to see how to do this so i'll just take this lining and fix it okay on this one i'm separating as the lining i'll also join it together in a straight line so let me just do all that quickly so this is what it looks like after joining it together as you can see i've joined the lining as well this is how it is okay so now i will just close it up and i will show you the final look of the dress final look of the dress as you can see is already looking lovely but if you want it to be more fluffier than this all you have to do is to use the very strong net and it will give you exactly what you want so for the zip that is for the back side for the zip you can check out my video on how to fix an invisible zip to a ball gown and you get to see step by step on how to do that so guys that is it for today for today i hope you were able to grab one or two things okay so please subscribe if you have not share like comment and most importantly subscribe to my channel i will see you on the next one